Today, I'm going to be selling one of the stocks in my portfolio. So I'm going to tell you which one, tell you exactly why I'm selling it, and then actually physically log on to my trading 212 portfolio and sell that stock. But before we do that, let's just quickly recap some common reasons as to why someone may decide to sell out of a position. The first one is that your investment thesis has changed. When you buy a stock, you should have a reason for doing so. This is your investment thesis. If your investment thesis changes, it could be time to actually sell out of that position. For example, you could have decided to invest into a particular stock because you felt like it was undervalued. However, if the stock price increases and you feel like that is no longer an undervalued stock that fits into your portfolio, you may want to sell it or you may invest into a company that you think has a particular moat, a particular competitive advantage, but then maybe the landscape changes and a new competitor comes, comes in and you feel like the original company that you invested in no longer has that moat, that competitive advantage that made you pick them in the first place. You may then extrapolate that out and believe that this company isn't going to do as well as you originally thought, so maybe it's time to sell. The second one is pretty important in my opinion, and that is that the company's fundamentals have either deteriorated or they've changed. A company's fundamentals are things like their financial statements, their debt ratios, their assets, their liabilities, their earnings, all of these sort of things. So maybe the company that you've invested in has recently taken on a lot of debt, and maybe you as an investor are feeling very uncomfortable about that amount of debt they've taken on. You might then decide to sell. The third one is a little bit controversial, I think. It could ruffle some feathers, but I think it's a really, really important one, and it's definitely very valid. And that is that you've reached your investment goal. If you purchased a stock with the aim of simply making a profit on that position, and you've reached that profit goal, then put simply, it may be time to sell. For example, let's say that you bought a particular position and you wanted to make 10% on that stock. The stock then may have risen 10% and you may decide to lock in your profit. It's difficult to split this idea of knowing when to sell a position and still being a long-term investor in your head because being a long-term investor does not mean that you have to buy a stock and then hold that stock forever and ever. It just simply means that if you're a long-term investor, your aim in investing is not simply to make quick profit. You're not buying in a stock one day, watching it trade during that day to sell it later on in the day when it's gone up and you make a quick bucks. That is not long-term investing, that's trading. But that's very different from having a long-term mindset, buying a position, and then over a matter of a few years, that stock then has reached your target valuation, whatever it may be, and you decide to take your profit and put that profit elsewhere in your portfolio. That is still, in my opinion, long-term investing. Having said that, the aim of both trading and long-term investing is pretty much the same, right? Both aims are to make money. Maybe trading is to make short-term money, so to make money as quickly as possible, whereas long-term investing is more to make money over many decades and build wealth. There are slight distinctions, but ultimately, any type of trader or investor wants to make money. So it makes sense to take profits when it makes sense. Maybe the price has reached a certain target that you had for it, it makes sense to take profit. But with long-term investing, you still want to make money. So if your position has reached a particular target that you had for it, then maybe it makes sense to take the profit, especially if you don't see that stock just going up indefinitely, going up over the next few decades, few years, then why would you just leave your money in there when you could take the profit and deploy that money into a better opportunity, maybe a new opportunity for your portfolio, or maybe one that's already there. The fourth reason is that you need the money. If you need the money for something else that's going on in life, maybe you need it to purchase a new car, to put a down payment on a house, maybe you need it to pay your bills, then you may need to sell out of a position to actually free up that capital. Now, I don't really like this one much. It's not ideal, but if it has to happen, it has to happen. However, I do think you can put things in place that make sure that you can avoid this at all costs. Things like having money inside an easily accessible bank account and having an emergency fund. The fifth one is that the stock that you are selling no longer is a good fit for your portfolio. As your financial situation changes, 
your investment goals may also change and that is okay. For example, if you are nearing retirement age, it might make sense for you to move your money out of some of those volatile high growth positions and move them more into stable companies, maybe some bonds if that's what you're interested in, some dividend investing, because those sort of positions in your portfolio fit and align more with where you are in your investing journey and the level of risk that you're willing to take on. If you are relying on your portfolio to literally cover your lifestyle, then you may need to think about what sort of positions you have and it makes sense to sell when that is the case. And the last one kind of fits in to one I've already explained, but it's a little bit different. And that is that your money is best spent elsewhere. Like we said, investing has the ultimate goal and is all about making money. No one is investing because they don't want to make money. Like that just doesn't happen. So it makes sense to sell a stock if that money is better spent in a different position. It's just simply being smart. It's reallocating funds to capitalize on other opportunities in order to maximize your returns, to get better growth in your portfolio. Why would you leave your capital in maybe a position that is no longer what you want in your portfolio? It's no longer giving you the growth that you need. It's a bit stagnant, whatever the reason, why would you leave it in that position instead of just selling it and putting that money into a different position that is gonna make you a better return. Now, I don't believe that we should just sell out wishy-washy because you know pe periods of time happen where a stock doesn't do much, but it doesn't mean that that stock is not going to do well over long periods of time, and that's different. So you do really need to weigh up the pros and cons of selling a particular position and putting that money into another one but I do think this is a really valid reason. So I have a stock in my portfolio called Segro. Segro is a REIT, a real estate investment trust. And this company owns, they develop, they manage modern warehousing and industrial properties. And they have a property portfolio both here in the UK and across Europe. Now I invested into Segro because I wanted exposure to a REIT. I wanted a REIT in my portfolio and Segro was exactly that. But I didn't just want any REIT. I wanted a REIT that had a strong track record of performance. I wanted one that had a good balance sheet and strong cash flow. Now I looked at all the REITs that were available to me. I did the pros and cons, I compared them. I looked into their financials. I looked into what they do, all of this stuff and I decided that Segro was the one that I wanted. I really liked the fact that they had that geographical diversification. They were not just based in the UK, but they were spread across Europe as well. I really, really liked that about them. And I really felt that this company was in a great position to really benefit from the growth of e-commerce. Alongside that, they have been growing their dividends for many years. They are a dividend growth company, and that was a real selling point to me as well. So I liked Segro. I did my research and I gave them a place in my portfolio for the reasons that I've just listed. So this happened in March. I invested my initial amount of money into Segro in March. Since then, I have not put any more money into this position. So I've only invested into them once and I currently own just 13.48 shares. So not very much at all. So this is my smallest position by far in my portfolio and currently it's worth about 111 pound. My initial plan was to make that initial investment into Segro and then to keep drip feeding money into them along with all of my other positions and build my position in Segro over time. Now I've continued to buy more shares of my other positions in my portfolio but I have not done the same for Segro. So I'm gonna sell Segro from my portfolio and then I'm gonna use that money and deploy it into an existing position that I have. So let's talk about the reasons that I'm selling. And there are actually several reasons really. Firstly, it's just really simple. I believe that there are better opportunities elsewhere inside my portfolio already that will offer a larger growth potential. So by reallocating these funds from Segro to these other positions, I aim to maximize my overall returns. And that is what we all want in investing. Also, the size of my Segro position is relatively small. Like I just said, I have under 14 shares worth about 111 pound right now. And that really means that even when this position does particularly well, its performance has a very, very minimal impact 
on the overall performance of my portfolio. And as a result, keeping this position at its current size doesn't really significantly contribute to my investment objectives. It doesn't really get me any closer to what I want from my portfolio. It just doesn't move the needle. And I have to look at what I have been drawn to do over these last few months. Like I said, I've not actually made any additional purchases of this stock. And there's a reason for that. I have had the money available to do that, but every time I've sat down to decide where this money should go, there are clearly better options for this money. So when I ask myself, is this something that's just happening short term, or do I think this is gonna continue happening month on month where I look at where my money's going and I decide actually it doesn't make sense to deploy it into Segro. And I think that is the case here. So the lack of this active engagement into Segro is kind of indicative to me that I have reduced conviction for this stock in comparison to the rest of my positions in my portfolio. If I had all the money in the world, do I think this is a good position? Absolutely. Like I have laid the reasons out why I think this is a good position. And I do think for a lot of investors, this will be amazing in their portfolio. Just for me right now with my current risk appetite, my current age, what I'm wanting from my portfolio, my timelines, all of this stuff, there's just better opportunity, put simply. So now we're going to go over to my trading 212 portfolio and we're actually gonna sell this position. So I'll show you what I purchased in that and what I'm selling at. You'll be able to see that I'm gonna make a very, very small profit on this, but I'm not really selling for the profit, to be honest, like I've just discussed. It's purely because there's better opportunities, but I'll show you all that, we'll sell it. The markets are currently closed, so this won't go through until they reopen uh, on Monday, but let's do that now. So here we are on my Trading 212 portfolio. If you do want to open yourself a Trading 212 Stocks and Shares ISA or General Investment Account, I'll leave a link in the description. By clicking that link, you'll get a free share when you do so, worth up to £100. And you only have to deposit £1 to actually get that. So let's just have a look what's been going on here. We can see that my shares 13.48, like I've just mentioned, there are some more numbers here, but I'm not gonna read all them out. You can see my average price versus current price. And you can see that I'm up by 11.99%. So that's a pretty nice percentage to be up by. But you'll see that that only equates to £11.93. And that's because, like I was saying, having such a small position, if it does well, or if it does badly even, it doesn't really change the overall performance of your portfolio by that much. I am not going to reach financial freedom <laughs> by withdrawing £11.93. I'm probably going to be able to get a portion of chips, to be honest, with that sort of money, with the inflation these days. If I had a lot more money in this position, then maybe, but you can see that some of my other positions right now that are doing particularly well, so the likes of Amazon, Palantir, Tesla, I'm up by a lot more. And even ones that I'm up by a similar amount, so Tesla 18%, yeah, it's more than 11%, but it's not crazy more. That's equating to nearly £700. So the more money you have in the stock, obviously, the larger you're going to get out. And I just don't see myself adding more to this position. So let's just have a look at the history. So this will tell me all of my trades. So I purchased 11.48 blah, 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 shares. So a hundred pounds worth at that time on the 20th of March. And you can see that since then, I have not put any more money into this, into this position. So actually, since I purchased it to now, it's actually done all right. It's, it, it's performed pretty well. So we're going to hit this sell button. We are going to sell the entire value of this position. You could decide to sell a little bit you can do it by value or by amount of stocks that you have. So let's just review that order. So when the market opens, I will sell all of the position, all of the shares. I will not pay any commission on this. And that will that will give me £111.43. So let's send that sell order now. And like I said, that will happen when the markets open Monday. So order placed. Your order to sell this amount of shares of Segro has been placed. Make sure you subscribe to see where that money actually ends up going. If you want to know what moves I'm making in my portfolio in real time, you want more regular portfolio updates, you want to chat to like-minded people about investing, finance, your portfolio about particular stocks, 
then again, join the Patreon. You'll get access to the Discord. We chat every day on there. And though those guys already know I was thinking about doing this before I filmed this video. Link in the description for that. Thank you so much for watching and supporting this channel. I'll see you in another one very shortly.